This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that The Bill is among the best TV series ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Hugh Higginson played the character P.C. Garfield in the sitcom when he was 25 in 1989. See, at the age of 59, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Hillingdon, UK. Oh, the jockey's room, he can't go in there. I'm supposed to stick with him, aren't we? Oh, so what are you going to do, ride pillion on his horse? <laughs> nah, you come along with me, Vicky. Give the lads a laugh. Right, well, I'm going to go and put... So amazing to feel the audience around you and really connect with them as well. No, I, think, I think that's the thing. It's... it's you know, being on stage and being a... Trudy Goodwin played the character W.P.C. Auckland in the sitcom when she was 33 in 1984. See, at the age of 72, she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in London, England. Your brighter ideas, though. You alright? <laughs> Does it ever get to you? trained people um, into a family to help with, might be something really simple like a bit of shopping, a bit of cleaning, um, or if people are struggling. Colin Tarrant played the character Inspector Monroe in the sitcom when he was 38 in 1990. Sadly, on January 26, 2012, he left us from a self-inflicted stab wound at 59 in Bristol, England, where deeply saddened by spussing. This safety zone, squeaky clean. Sir. Sure. All units from Sierra Oscar. Yeah, yeah, heading back. He's a remarkable man. Um, I admire him for his principles and for the way he played football as well. And I think the very, very best thing we could do is to have a, a lifelong... Um... Eric Richard played the character Surgeon Choir in the sitcom when he was 44 in 1984. See, at the age of 83, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Cantingland. She's got her annual qualification report coming up in a couple of weeks. Now, I don't want her going up for her appraisal interview thinking she's landed herself in it because of this morning. Could tip the scale. Put a street jacket on and we went off and we had lunch and we came back and I took the jacket off and we shot four scenes, which was probably a couple of hours' work. Graham Cole played the character PC Stam in the sitcom when he was 32 in 1984. See, at the age of 71, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion in Middlesex, England. And it's my day off. I'll see you in about an hour, all right? Look, I can't talk to her anymore. I'm very busy. I've got to go, all right? Bloody... Artists appeared on... 19,000? Yep. Jesus. Seriously. I mean, for, for young actors, it was the place to go. You go mm. out of drama school and get particularly young. Tom Butcher played the character P.C. Loxton in the sitcom when he was 27 in 1989. See, at 60 years old, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Stamford, UK. Andrew Watson. Here it comes. 18 months for burglary. Double act with your eldest Richie. Ricky. And he got a... The, it, well, the alumni said is that the first air condition, my daddy put that in 1937. The first air condition in the house. Simon Roos played the character DCI Jack Meadows in the sitcom when he was 39 in 1990. See, at the age of 72, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in West Riding, Yorkshire, England. Simpson's a psychopath. Are you trying to tell me that the murdering of a police officer is a natural response to getting beaten up in a pub? I'm telling you that you kept quiet while this thing developed into a situation that nobody knows how. Simon, perhaps. Well, we'll have it eventually. Uh, and my character is your subordinate. You, you, uh, Simon runs this company called Knox Oil. Sita Indriane played the character PWC Data in the sitcom when she was 27 in 1989. See, at the age of 60, she is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in London, UK. No, sir. And you think this call was made accidentally? We think the redial button was struck during a struggle. If it had been done on purpose, I think the victim would probably be trying to let us know where they are. It's the shadow of her father. Yeah. And now everyone's talking about her. And talking about her cause. Jeff Stewart played the character PC Hollis in the sitcom when he was 29 in 1984. See, at the age of 68, 
He's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in England. I'm the wrong side of 40. I've never been married. I don't have a car. The only thing of any value I've ever owned was my model rail. If someone was particularly energetic or athletic or what's the word? Gymnastic, that's not the right <coughs> But people would like stand on their hands or whatever, so when the doors open. Mark Wingett played the character DC Carver in the sitcom when he was 23 in 1984. See, at the age of 63, he is living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in England, UK. She lost her temper with Mr. Chandler. Oh dear. Mm. I mean, she's. It um, was great, but I jumped on it and it was just like, uh, yeah, it was like, hello, old friend. It was great fun. Lambretta's a slightly. Andrew Paul played the character PC Quinnan in the sitcom when he was 26 in 1987. See, at 62 years old, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in London, UK. Me sometimes. I need to tie this other bloke in, make it sound like he come from there. Are you sure you didn't see anything else that would help? Anything. Tony O'Callaghan played the character Surgeon Boyden in the sitcom when he was 33 in 1989. See, at 67 years old, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in England. I'll send someone up there later to deal with her. So what have you got in mind then, Sarge? Mr. Munro wants someone, that's you, to spend a few shifts in the day centre, sort of... Peter Ellis played the character Brownlow in the sitcom when he was 48 in 1984. See, at the age of 87, he's living a fulfilling life full of passion right here in Bristol, UK. <laughs> what are you so worried about, Andrew? I'm just looking in on people. Yes, sir, but it, um, it can be unsettling. Why? If ever okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in the bill? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe to know more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.